Uh, Route 66 Museum here. We've been basically following Route 66, although on the interstate. And uh, once we got through Albuquerque, as you cruise down the road, you could see really cool cars in people's backyards. You know, 56 Apache pickups and, and B-body Mopars. So, you know, the fact that, that there's an overwhelming amount of cars on eBay USA, uh, the, the, the stock of barn finds, if you want to call them that, really hasn't dried up. So, we were thrashing to get here. Uh, we believed that the museum was going to close at 6 o'clock, but because it's Thursday, they actually close at 5. But as we cruised through the town, there were cars everywhere, like this Comet. And the great thing about these cars, they don't put any salt on the road if they get snow. There's no rust in these things. I mean, this is probably like a 62 model car, totally complete, very restorable, or if you want, drive it as it is, put a drive line in it. So probably the most iconic American car is the 57 Chev. Check this thing out. I mean, no rust, the sills are good. In fact, it looks pretty cool as it is. Again, another car, you could maybe clean the glass up, put an interior kit in it, drop a small block in it, or a late model EFI motor, LS or something like that, and you have got one awesome driver. I know they don't make them anymore, but they're still around. When it comes to jewellery on a 50s American car, nothing is sexier than the front of the 57 Chev. If you're thinking of buying one, you need to make sure you've got a couple of important things. Dan Chuck Industries have been selling parts for 57 Chevs for a long time and have made a fortune out of it. If you're going to get one, make sure it's got the grill bar. All this chrome is in good condition. You want to get one of these bars chromed at home, you're probably looking at about $2,000. I reckon it looks pretty good as it is. And if you're cruising down the highway and you happen to see one with a V, that means it's a V8. If it's a six pack, they don't have this emblem on them. Easy way to identify. So if you ever walk past an American car and you're not sure what year it was built, the easiest way to find out is walk to the tail light lens. A lot of people don't know, but the year of manufacture is always written on the lens. This car is a Mercury. In this case, this is built in 56. Don't tell your mates about it, they'll think you know your cars really well. Because this car is a Mercury and luxury was paramount. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay, hang on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So we're checking out this 56 Mercury and we notice this on the back. In either corner, these vent tubes. And because this car's a Mercury and luxury, luxury was paramount, we've got... <laughs> <laughs> on this 56 Mercury, a highly appointed luxury vehicle, this is the air conditioning vents mounted on the rear parcel shelf. We'll show you in a minute, if you poke down through the back glass, the entire air conditioning system is mounted in the boot of this car. Pretty cool, huh? Same town, another car. Pretty cool single spinner Ford. Once again, it's got the patina, you drive it just as it is. They're out there, you just gotta know where to look. Ford Festiva. Your mates in California will love you. Good motoring, clean air, good mileage. What else is there to life? Except for it.